good afternoon. Um, it's good to be here. I want, I want to say how proud I am to be standing here in this bipartisan forum uh, with two great senators from, from upstate New York and certainly my colleague, chair of my black Puerto Rican legislative, uh, Hispanic and legislative caucus, Karim Kamara, for this very, very important uh, press conference and certainly uh, putting forth, uh, stating that we will be putting forth a resolution uh, that really shouldn't have to be put forward. There's really, we shouldn't have to put forth this resolution uh, calling on the NFL to, uh, to, uh, to um, uh, stop using the word, uh, the R word. But let me just say this. Last week's events regarding the Los Angeles Clippers and the comments of team owner Donald Sterling are evidence that racism is alive and well in this country. NBA Commissioner Adam Silver handled that situation quickly and judiciously. Sterling's words were vile, foul, and repugnant. He showed no remorse for his actions, and the only remorse that he had, his only regret, was that he got caught on tape. The NFL and team owner Daniel Snyder has been repeatedly chastised for his refusal to discontinue the, psych the use of a psychologically harmful and culturally offensive racial epithet as a team name. The New York Giants doesn't offend anybody except maybe some Giants. New York Jets doesn't offend anybody except maybe some Jets that don't run. The word redskin is absolutely offensive to the Native American community and beyond. Further proof of this affront in the United, is that the United, no less an authority that the United States Patent and Trademark Office's determination that the term redskin is, in fact, derogatory. In light of the tremendous public demand for this wrong to be corrected, Daniel Snyder's refusal to change this moniker is unconscionable. It is time for NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell to follow the actions of NBA Commissioner Adam Silver and put pressure on Daniel Snyder to change the name of his Washington team. You know, Martin Luther King said it a while back, and in just, and I'm paraphrasing, an injustice anywhere is an injustice everywhere. Certainly offensive and, 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 and racially offensive language and, and names of teams is not only an injustice in Washington, D.C. area, but an injustice throughout this country, especially when you're talking about the NFL, the most watched sport in the United States of America. You know, quite frankly, when you have an offensive name to a particular community, especially the Native American community, and quite frankly, this is their land. They were here first, and we're renting space, so we need to be respectful of the wishes of the Native American community. I'm proud to stand here with Ray Hall Bretter, who started this ball rolling and certainly took, uh, took uh, direction from some children in Cooperstown, New York, whose team, their high school team, was called, were called the Redskins. And they didn't like that name. So we need to follow the lead of those children in Cooperstown and beyond. So that's why I'm proud to have my name on this resolution calling for the um, elimination and eradication of this offensive term of this team. Thank you very much.